Good afternoon, boys and girls. We're back with a few more activities from our story of God Cares for Me and God Cares for You. And you may remember that last time we looked at this picture and we were talking about different things that we see in the picture and we were looking for our yellow flowers. So do you see the yellow flower in the picture? Where's that? That's right, it's right there. There it is. And we talked about the little boy and where do you see the little boy? I'm sorry, boys and girls, my nose is itching. Here's the little boy wearing his blue robe. It looks kind of funny because it looks like he's wearing a dress, but it's a robe. And then who is this? That's right, this is Jesus. And Jesus loves us the most. And look how happy Jesus is to be spending time with this little boy and this little girl. Because Jesus loves the boys and girls. And he loves you. And then here we see our little friend, that's the little girl. And she's wearing a pretty robe, robe too. It's pink and purple. Any of you, your favorite color is pink? How about purple? Anybody's favorite color is purple? I like pink and purple too. And here we see a pink flower. We see two pink flowers, don't we? And then what's that hiding under Miss Corby's fingers? A yellow butterfly. That's right. And our little story that goes with this picture says, look at the pretty flowers, Jesus said. God makes them grow. He makes red, yellow, and white flowers. God made these flowers and he cares for them. God made you. God loves you and cares for you too. God loves you even more than the flowers. And remember in our last video, we talked about that, how in the Bible it says that. Jesus says, look at all these flowers, how God takes care of them. How much more is God gonna take care of you? because of how much he loves you. And so just remember that. And our Bible thought is God cares for you. And that comes from our book in the Bible, 1 Peter and chapter five and verse number seven. And again, that says God cares for you. And we're gonna do our little activity that we did last week. Let's see if you can remember, or we did on the last video. Let's see if you can remember. God cares for me when I sleep. God cares for me when I play. God cares for me all the time. He cares for me night and day. All right, let's do it one more time, just in case you didn't remember it to start with. God cares for me when I sleep. God cares for me when I play. God cares for me all the time. He cares for me night and day. Very good. And then our little song that we sang, let's see if you can remember. The first part says, I'm so glad that God loves me. You ready? I'm so glad that God loves me. God loves me. God loves me. I'm so glad that God loves me. And he loves me too. Good. All right, and the next one is, I'm so glad that God loves you. Are you ready? I'm so glad that God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. I'm so glad that God loves you. He loves you all the time. Very good. Y'all did a good job with that. Now we're going to do a little different activity today because we're talking about how God cares for us and um, God cares for us when we're doing all kinds of different things. All right, so let's do a, um, a little activity doing some, some different things that we know that when we're doing these things, God is caring for us and take caring for us, taking care of us. So the first one is we're walking. So can you walk around at your house? We're walking, 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 walking around the room. We're walking around the room and now we stop. Good. All right, and the next one is we're going to swim. Can you pretend like you're swimming around the room? We're swimming, swimming, swimming. We're swimming around the room. We're swimming, swimming, swimming. And now we stop. Good. You did good with that. All right, now can you pretend like you're flying? All right, we're flying, 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 flying around the room. We're flying, flying, flying. And now we stop. Good, you did a good job with that. Miss Corby is so super proud of everybody. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at one more picture. 
And this picture has um, a mommy and a little and um, a little girl. Look at that curly hair she has. Do any of you have curly hair? I know some of our friends do. I know I know Carolyn has pretty curly hair, and a lot of our friends might have pretty curly hair. But if your hair is curly, or if it's straight, or if it's blonde, or if it's red, or if it's brown, it's pretty because that's the hair that God gave you. And the mommy's hair is straight, and she has red hair, and that's pretty too. And Miss Corby has gray hair because Miss Corby's old, but God gave it to me, so I'm I'm happy for it and proud of it. All right, and so we see a lot of very pretty flowers in this picture, don't we? And last week, we talked about different parts of the flower and how God made the different parts of the flower to do different things so the flower could grow. And in our picture here, we see the leaves. And do you remember what Miss Corby said the leaves do? Remember the sun shines on the leaves and the leaves take that energy from the sun and they help the plant to grow. And there we have the beautiful petals and those pet petals are beautiful, and that's where we find the seeds for the flowers are going to be right in there, where the flower where the um, flowers are. And then we know that under the ground here, or inside the box, would be what we call the roots, and then the roots are what soak the water up out of the ground when God sends the rain, and He soaks up the flower soaks up the water so it can grow, and so we see that. God has made these flowers in a wonderful, wonderful way. And God has made us to grow too. And God gives us the things that we need to grow too. Like he sends the sunshine and the rain for the flowers. He's going to give us the things that we need to grow too. And it's been great talking with everybody these last two um, sessions about that God cares for you. And remember, what's our special signs? Jesus loves me. And Jesus loves you. And Miss Corby loves you too. And I'll see you next time.